Let's review partial fractions. In pre-calculus, when you did this, you would come and factor your denominator. So this is x minus 3 times x minus 2. And you would say that this is equal to a divided by x minus 3 plus b divided by x minus 2. From here, you would find a and b to make this a true statement. So your next step would be, so this is your first step, so you write out partial fractions. Your next step is to get a common denominator. All right, so I wind up with a times x minus 2 plus b times x minus 3, all divided by x minus 3 times x minus 2. Now, the third step is you need to equate the numerators. And you equate the numerators because the denominators are already equivalent. So 1 has got to equal a x minus 2 plus b x minus 3. Now, the last thing you need to do is, oh, well, hold on, we do need to multiply this out a little bit. We need to um, get everything out so we can see it. Okay, so we're going to take that among the equating the numerators. And the last step is you need to match up your powers of x. So let me switch pin colors here. x to the first power is, on the right, it's ax plus bx, and but there are none on the left side. So the x to the first powers, if I'm going to equate all of those, I have to have 0 is equal to a plus b which tells me a is minus b. And then I'm going to equate my x to the zero terms. So this is the circle terms. So 1 is minus 2a minus 3b. I'm going to plug this in. So I have 1 is equal to minus 2. Now a is minus b minus 3b. And that tells me that b Let's see, so this is 2 minus 3 minus b, so b is equal to negative 1, which tells me a is equal to 1. So what this tells me is now I can rewrite this um, entire thing so that it is equivalent to a, let me see, I need to see what a was over here, 1 over x minus 3 minus 1 over x minus 2. This is a partial fraction decomposition. Now a lot of times in calculus we're going to need to um, break our polynomial, uh, our, our, our rational function up using partial fractions. If the degree of the numerator is greater or equal to the degree of the denominator, then we need to divide out until the degree of the numerator is less than or equal, is less than the degree of the denominator. Once we have that, we can do partial fractions. The next thing you need to do is completely factor the denominator so that it's of the, it is of the form px plus q to the m and ax squared plus bx plus c to the n. The next thing you need to do is for, for the linear factors, you need to have a, a, a constant divided by px plus q plus a2 divided by px plus q squared. This is if these are repeated on up to however many times you have repeated. In the example we just did, this was the only one we needed because all of our individual terms had only one power. Now we'll do one where we have quadratic functions. If we have a quadratic function, then you've factored ax squared plus bx plus c as far down as you can. In the numerator, for each repeated term, you need bx b1x plus c1. Please notice the power, if this is x squared, this is x to the 1. This is x, this is x to the 0. So the numerator has to be um, at least 1 less than the power of the denominator. 
and clearly B1 can be 0. Let's try one. Suppose I have n sub x divided by x to the fifth plus x to the fourth minus x minus 1. Now, I don't know what nx is, so I'm not going to actually be able to break this down. But how in the world do I factor this? What if I rewrite this as x to the fifth minus x plus x to the fourth minus 1, and I do some grouping? Ah, now I can factor x out. And this is x to the fourth minus 1 plus x to the fourth minus 1. Oh, well, I can do this. Now, this is, did I do that correctly? Let me check. Yep, all right. So this is x plus 1 times x to the fourth minus 1. All right, now I need to break this out. This becomes x plus 1 times x squared minus 1 times x squared plus 1. Now I can't do anything with that term, can't do anything with that term, but I can reduce this one. This is x plus 1 times x minus 1, x plus 1, x squared plus 1. Okay, so let me collect like terms. So this is, um, let's see, let's do x minus 1 times x plus 1 squared times x squared plus 1. All right, so when I do my partial fractions breakdown, and I have n of x divided by, let's see, I've lost it, what was it? It's one problem with running out of space here. x to the fifth plus x to the fourth minus x minus 1 this is going to be a divided by x minus 1. And I like a's, b's, and c's. Now you see, I'm going to need two of these. This is a linear term, but I'm going to need two of them. So this is x plus 1. Now I'm going to need a second one because this is a squared term. And finally, I'm going to need over x squared plus 1, abc, I'm up to dx plus e 